Medical assistance in dying will soon be expanded to include those with mental illness, including depression. My Bill C-314 will reverse this terrible decision. Now, my bill is very narrow and does not repeal the other provisions of Canada's medical assistance in dying laws. Mr. Speaker, there's no national consensus on expanding MAID to include mental disorders. None. The most recent Angus Reid poll found that a very small number of Canadians actually favour expanding assisted suicide to the mentally ill, somewhere around 28%. And you know, the mental health community has raised significant concerns. A recent letter to government from the heads of seven Canadian psychiatry schools implored decision makers to hold off on expanding assisted suicide to the mentally ill. Trudeau Liberals along with the Bloc and the NDP voted down euthanasia exclusions for the mentally ill. The Conservative bill to amend Canada's existing medical assistance in dying or MAID protocols would have prevented the mentally ill from accessing doctor-assisted suicide. Conservative MP for Abbotsford, Ed Fass, Bill C-314, was voted down Wednesday night in the House of Commons. You may recall when Bill C-14 was introduced and debated in 2016, many of us warned that Canada was treading upon a slippery slope that would quickly lead to those not at the end of their lives being included in Canada's MAID regime, placing Canada's most vulnerable groups at risk. And we were assured that our fears were unfounded. I so remember that debate. We were assured your fears are unfounded. There's nothing to see here. Don't worry and be happy. We were assured that MAID would remain an exceptional and extraordinary remedy for those experiencing intolerable and incurable pain at the end of their lives. Sadly, our fears were confirmed with the Trushan case and then the government's Bill C-7, which not only eliminated the foreseeability requirement, but extended MAID to the mentally ill. Bill C-14 would have prevented mental illnesses from being included as a, quote, grievous and irredeemable medical condition qualifying a Canadian to access government-enabled euthanasia. But not just the Conservatives supported FAST's proposed law. As Conservative MP Arnold Viersen points out, some Liberals voted for common-sense protections for people experiencing mental illnesses and other psychological disorders. Eight Liberals broke ranks with the party to protect vulnerable Canadians from their own party's bizarre fascination with death. The fall of the bill in a 167 to 150 vote means that in March of 2022, as FAST puts it, Canadians who are crying out for help could be offered death as a remedy to their anguish. The vote in the House of Commons demonstrates the Liberal government's progressive extremism, on the issue of medical assisted suicide. The Veterans Affairs Ministry came under fire for reports of caseworkers offering as many as nine Canadian veterans medical help to die rather than the care they are entitled to as Canadian veterans. That, that, that caseworker did not inform him of services. That vet caseworker not only offered made, it was unprompted and it was pushed after two no's You'd think two no's would do it. It did not. I have here the transcript, which of course, I cannot get a hold of the veteran because he was so distraught he left the country. In Canada, a foreseeable death is no longer required to access medical death from the state. And in many instances, the 10 day wait period has been removed. This is directly according to the government of Canada. To be considered as having a, quote, grievous and irredeemable medical condition, you must meet all of the following criteria. You must have a serious illness, disease, or disability, be in an advanced state of decline that cannot be reversed, experience unbearable physical or mental suffering from your illness, disease, disability, or state of decline that cannot be relieved under conditions that you consider acceptable. In Canada, we have had people with eating disorders, 
seek medical assistance in dying. People who say they are chronically homeless seek medical assistance in dying. And people who are diabetic seek medical assistance in dying. Let's go on from the government. You do not need to have a fatal or terminal condition to be eligible for medical assistance in dying. If your only medical condition is a mental illness, you are not eligible for medical assistance in dying until March 17th, 2024. If you have a mental illness along with other medical conditions, you may then be eligible for medical assistance in dying. To send a message to the Canadian government that suffering Canadians need help to live, not help to die, visit helpnothomicide.com. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunreed. The solution to Canadians being failed by our government-run, government-rationed healthcare system is not to offer them death for chronic conditions for which they could reasonably receive treatment for. To send the government a message that Canadians need help and not death, please visit helpnothomicide.com.